or anyone out there who lives in a condo, you know they can feel a little cookie cutter. But if you rent, it can be challenging to do anything about it without permanently altering the space. Or so you thought. Jackie is here with tips and tricks to make your temporary design wow worthy. Hey, Jax. Hey, how are you? I'm great. You know, living in a small space, I find you have to be a little bit creative and you've got a lot of tips to help people get there with their decor. I do. I have a lot of tips. And firstly, this condo is 635 square feet. So it is tiny. It's a one plus, which means that the second part of the plus is not really a formal bedroom. There's no door on it. So it's usually an office, which is what we did. And it hadn't been touched in about five to six years, the last tenant had stayed there. So it was a little bit dated. So this is a condo that my son and I worked on together. It was a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, lucky he has you. That's amazing. So let's talk about tips for those of us looking to refresh the kitchen. Yes, kitchens are huge. And you know, in, in small spaces like this, the kitchen is usually a very tiny little space. So what do you do to really elevate it? And so one of the first things that you can do, if you can't do anything to the kitchen, and that means the budget or your landlord says you can't touch it is to really elevate it with appliances now interestingly sultan is a company that has small space appliances so these are slimmer lined appliances like toasters blenders uh, coffee makers even kettles that can fit really comfortably on your counter now that doesn't mean that you put every single appliance on your counter but remember too that appliances not only take up a lot of space on your counter but also in your cupboards so if you've got some kind of really cool, whether they're in a fun color or very slim line, definitely play them up on your counter. That's a really, really easy way to kind of create a little bit of energy into that space. But you're never going to get, Tracy, really any more punch than if you repaint your cupboards. And again, if you get permission and you can repaint them, they're going to look spectacular. So these were originally, these kitchen cabinets were just a, a espresso tone. I used the uh, advanced paint in jet black and I repainted, I did a lot of the painting here, by the way, Tracy. Wow. And I painted the cupboards and it was just amazing. And I also did black handles as well in a matte finish. And I also painted the backsplash so that you have this really moody kind of black on black kitchen, which is what my son really wanted. Now, for me, also being modern and moody, I think you should also add some greenery and there's a whole organic trend going on. So I really love these little Ikea. They're just actually little, just little pads that you can click together and you can create sort of a living wall because I think greenery is really important. And also wanted to add some color because basically my son was a foregone conclusion. Mom, I want black, white, and gray. So I thought <laughs> when I looked at some of his artwork that there was some blue, right? So I thought I'm gonna add some blue. And I added some punchy blue bar stools. But more importantly, I added arms, like they actually have armrests because in this space, there was no room for a dining room table. And so because of that, I felt it's really important, even though I know my son sits and eats his dinner at the coffee table in his living room, mm -hmm. I thought it would be nice that he could sit at the breakfast bar and at least eat comfortably like he was in a proper dining chair. And that was really important. Oh, you made some really good choices there. And I'm so happy that they allowed you to do the painting because that is like big transformation. So let's yeah. move from the kitchen into the living room. What can we do in a living room space if it's a rental? Mm -hmm. One of the first things that I did was I decided to use a mural. Mm -hmm. And the mural that I selected was from Mural Unique. I'm a really big mural fan and wallpaper fan as well. And I used about murals, Adrian installed it. I did get a professional to install it. But what I really wanted to create was texture on this wall. The plus side is you don't really have to put a lot of artwork on a mural because it, it creates its own art. Now, another thing that's super important, though, is the couch. So what I say to people that have small spaces, that if you are going to buy a sofa, I try and get the longest sofa I possibly can that will fit on the longest wall because that's really where you're going to do your primary seating. It's really important. What I always suggest to clients that live in small spaces is consider getting the glass top coffee table. It really creates the illusion of more space. But there are other options out there because you can get actually a, a lid that lifts up and you can create your own little dining table if you decide that that's really where you're going to be having your dinner. So there's lots of things that you can be thinking about in a small space, like a bar cart that can do double duty as like an entertainment area. You can use it for your dessert tray, for a bar. 
You can just have like herbs and gardens. You can roll it around your space, even on your balcony. Loving that mural behind you. It is gorgeous. So let's talk about the bedroom. How can renters DIY that space? Okay, so I don't care what size space you live in, Trace. You literally always start with the bed. And so my son has a queen size bed. Some people need a double. If you're lucky and can get a king size, go for it. But more importantly, it's always about storage. So I decided instead of getting end tables, we would get dressers. So he ended up with the dressers getting six drawers, extra full-size drawers that he could store his clothes in, which made him happy. And if you can, if your budget can squeeze towards it, then definitely go and try and get your closets uh, custom organized or even do it yourself. There's lots of products. IKEA have some really great systems. And again, nothing makes the space more efficient than when it's organized. And the other thing that was really important is I thought my son should have more than one place to watch TV. So what I did do is I put a TV and the little Lux touch was putting the um, just a really nice electric fireplace on the wall below the TV as instant ambiance and he can take it with him. That is a great solution. If you are looking yes. for any more children, I am up for adoption, Jackie. Okay, so you've done a great job. <laughs> oh, Let's talk sweet. about paint and the bathroom. What did you do in that space? Okay, well, paint in the bathroom was, it's, it's so easy to do. But what I did do was I painted the tile floor. It was a tired, kind of dirty white tile. And my son hated it. And I thought I didn't really, obviously, because it's a rental, I did not want to tear it out. So I primed it, I cleaned it, I primed it, and I painted it with the Benjamin Moore products. And I used, again, the jet blacks. So but you can see, you know, there's, there's definitely, I keep repeating the same colors. It's a small space. And I painted the floor out with their patio and floor paint. And it has stood the test of time. The other thing I did was I swapped out the vanity. And really big box purchase, not expensive, and definitely worth it in the long run. And then, of course, don't forget your lighting and a new faucet. And the whole space immediately has a fresh feel. and makes my son feel really comfortable, as any renter would feel comfortable, because they feel they put their own imprint on it. Oh my gosh, who wouldn't feel comfortable in that space? That is absolutely gorgeous. You've done an incredible job.